what do software engineers do? If you're thinking code, you'd be wrong. We software engineers spend less than 28% of our time coding. I was on a team of 40 software engineers. We had 5 million lines of code. That's 90,000 pages. So, for every new features, bug fix, requests, that's 40 people editing one book with 90,000 pages at the same time while trying to keep the story consistent. Do I need page two? Page 3,000? How does it impact page 42? And who changed page 98 and why? This is why we software engineers spend 50 to over 70% of our time trying to make sense of our own enlarged code base. And this costs companies $183 billion annually. Code AI is the first AI platform that explains source code in plain English. We translate source code into natural language to make code easier to search, navigate, and understand using deep learning. So let's imagine that you're a new software engineer. You're onboarding onto my team's five million lines of code. You're terrified. But now you can ask a question like, where's the code for user login? Code AI tells you where to look, what the dependencies are, and how to think about your code base in just a few minutes. This can more than double engineering capacity. And as demand for software engineers is growing at a rate that is more than three times faster than the average jobs, companies need us now. That's why we have three companies who have signed up onto our pilot. This includes a US startup with a $6 million Series A and a large enterprise. We have 10 more companies in the pipeline, including a unicorn. What's more is that we've developed the first public version of our platform, which we'll be launching very soon. It's powered by four proprietary AI models, which have trained on half a billion lines of code and is currently achieving 79% accuracy. I'm Hervé, and I'm the CEO. I'm a three-time CTO with over 10 years of experience leading teams in the US. I'm also an advisor for the IBM AI Prize, and I also advise dozens of companies globally on their software engineering training curriculum. I'm honored to be joined by Dr. Misha Filipov. Misha is a mathematical physicist and our chief scientist. In one of his award-winning paper, he applied natural language processing, complexity, and network theory to find patterns within hundreds of millions of historical texts. Now, we don't need your money. <laughs> but if you'd like to help us in any other way, please come talk to us. Thank you. <laughs>